Very sorry to report the passing of Pharaoh Sanders, the great tenor saxophone player who came to prominence with John Coltrane in the 1960s. Pharaoh was 81, and he was a source of controversy because of his playing, which involved a lot of screaming on the tenor saxophone, which some people found outrageous, wondering why would Coltrane want to hire him? Obviously, Coltrane heard something in his playing and wanted to put that in his music. And Pharaoh and Train made some incredible recordings together. I was listening just the other day to Meditations, which they did in 65. It's just, I mean, there's a lot of them, thankfully. Uh, bootleg tapes, uh, official recordings. Uh, in his later years, uh, I don't want to say Pharaoh toned it down a bit, but he showed us uh, what a complete saxophonist he really is. I mean, he could swing, he could play the blues, uh, he did a lot of uh, African influenced music, uh, he was open to a lot of different things, and he led some incredible bands. Uh, I listened to his uh, music on Impulse Records that he recorded in the 60s quite often, as well as uh, hearing him live many times in the 80s and the 90s with John Hicks particularly the band with John Hicks on piano, uh, Walter Booker on bass, and uh, Idris Mohammed on drums. That was a particularly potent group. Uh, you know, when someone passes like Pharaoh Sanders, there's no replacement. There's no, there's no Pharaoh Sanders waiting in the wings. Uh, Pharaoh came from Little Rock uh, when he moved to New York. Sun Ra took him under his wing for a while. He's, he was born with the first name of Pharaoh. Sun Ra suggested Pharaoh, uh, which became the object of some, ah, uh, who goes with a name like Pharaoh? Uh, Pharaoh never wavered in his spirit or his music, even though he met with a lot of detractors. Over the years, of course, the detractors silenced themselves a bit because he played uh, such a wide diversity of music uh, in the last 30 or 40 years of his life. But uh, to those naysayers, uh, pay them no mind. If, you, if you're an artist and you, you, you take a different path in this life, that's the kind of resistance you meet with. And if your inner resolve is strong, like it was, was with Pharaoh, you just keep going. So. Fair, I'll miss you. Your music is with us forever. Thank you for working with John Coltrane. Interesting, he passed the day after Trade's death. Uh, and although your body, although you, you've left your body, your music is eternal.